Go. Go. Good morning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I could do anything. I'm on top of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on in the mirror every morning. Oh. Oh. Lucky I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. It's just, it's just, just yourself. It's just yourself involved in a mirror. But at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success by itself if you ask me. And I've got rid of that awful band-aid too. Almost seven years of studying medicine and I can finally take off a band-aid without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. <laughs> okay. True. Not today, bed. You won't tempt me today, no matter how soft, warm, and cozy you look. No. Can't. Someday. Yeah, someday I'll get around to gaming again. Wait for me. Our time will come. Magic. Hello, why are you standing near my door? Hey, morning there. Bear a few cents, my friend. Sure thing. Here you go. Thank you. You kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yeah, I moved in a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just work two different schedules. But put it this way. If you're the kind of guy who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. You have a productive day now. Alfio. This morning Alfio was sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place to stay. See ya Alfio. Let's take the down route today if I can. I need some cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck my uh, camera. Oh, there's somebody at the bus stop. But the bus never comes. Yo, you live across the street from here, right? Yeah, that's right. Can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuffs his garbage can full of yogurt cups? No, sorry, I never eat yogurt. Be glad. I'm on a war path. Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can, stuffed to the brim with yogurt cups. And as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are still half full. What a waste. So I'm trying to somehow get this mountain of yogurt cups in the truck. And all the half full cups come tumbling down on my head. Ew. Now I need to get a bus home and take a shower. I'll never get rid of that cherry, peach, and vanilla smell otherwise. So it's running again. Yeah, I took it to work earlier. I'm not the world's greatest cyclist, so I'm actually pretty reliant on the bus. Do you know when the bus is coming? Any moment now, I think. Where do you need to get to? St. Ursula's Hospital. Oh, you're one of those folks. Why do they keep saying one of those folks? Like, it's... Me working at the hospital is a bad thing. Like, hello? Your garbage cans are in a class of their own. I was at St. Ursula's earlier this year. Slipped disc. Dang. Do you know a Dr. Gutera? Hmm. Gutera? I think I've heard the, of the name before, but I haven't met him yet. I haven't been there long. Right. Anyway, Dr. Gutierrez, a good guy, showed me some exercises. It's been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him Matteo says hi. Will do. Are you taking the bus too? I'd rather walk. I get it. The weather's still nice and exercise will do you good. Plus I want to just explore, so there's also that. Matteo was standing at the bus stop this morning and smelled like yogurt. At first, I thought he was really into dairy, when in fact he works at the garbage disposal and had a smell incident this morning. I kind of feel for him. Okay. 
let's take the low road this time. Excuse me. Ah, yes. Do you know what's going on here? Why is the line so long? Haven't you heard? They're saying today is going to be the last warm day of the year. That means the ice cream shop's closing today. It won't open again until spring. They always have great deals on the last day of the year. We don't want to miss it. Who knows how long we'll have to wait before we can get a delicious ice cream again. Hmm. Nothing's happening here. I'd better walk across the town square if I don't want to be late again. Yeah. Guess we're not going that way. Maybe tomorrow. Something's gonna be happening here then. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Are you looking for something? Hello? Trains are great, right? Do you like trains too? I love them. They're long and loud and fast. I wish I was a train. Uh, yeah, trains are cool. So you like trains too? Sure. Whoa. But you know what trains can't do? Swim. That's why there's no trains here. Because this is water. And trains can't swim. Sure, that figures. I think trains should be able to swim. Then I could go anywhere by train. Like an island that's really sunny and stuff. Even though I don't like the sun that much. Not as much as trains. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Cool. Kim, I don't really like trains at all that much. But I didn't want to spoil Kim's enjoyment. Okay. Trains, am I right? T totally. <laughs> Trains, am I right? Okay. Gosh darn it. Uh. Early start today. Yep, I wanted to enjoy the walk to work a little more. You can see so much going about the world on foot. New people, but familiar faces too. You can even get yourself a nice breakfast and nibble away on a park bench. Have you had breakfast today? Yes, of course. I have to be on form for my rounds. People are getting a lot of mail right now. Take the Colberts, for example. Lots of bills. I wonder what's going on there. And Adele von Wittesberg hasn't received any postcards for a long time. I hope her pen pal's okay. Uh, isn't it? Are you not allowed to read people's mail? Hold on, you read people's mail? No, not on purpose. Honestly, I don't. It's just one of the hazards of being a postwoman. I mean, I can't deliver the mail blindfolded, can I? I don't know if I believe that. The door's closed. Maybe Guliana slept in today. There's our young sapling. Young sapling? What do you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. Isn't it a lovely morning? Yes, it really is beautiful. You look much more relaxed today, too. We haven't had such a beautiful fall in a long time, you know? But there was once a glittering golden fall here in Porcupine. Do you want to hear about it? Sure, then let me begin. This all happened before I was born, but my father liked to tell me the story. Once a year there was a fall like no other. That was the year Porcupine's first train station opened. The town had never seen so many visitors, and there hadn't ever been a better year to visit Porcupine. The weather was... As perfect as can be. Not too warm, but not too cold. The scent of summer blossoms and fall leaves filled the air all day long. Back then, Porcupine was mainly still a farming town. And this year saw the 
best harvest in history. Every day the potato folks pulled out of the ground, got bigger and bigger. Blood red apples, pumpkins the size of a small car. The best wine you could imagine. Every day was a feast. No one had any worries. Everyone had their arms about each other's shoulders. The whole thing lasted for three months, dang. Then from one day to the next, winter set in. Since then, we've had fond memories of that glittering golden fall. Wow, that sounds nice. I would have liked it. Me too, me too. That sounds heavenly. They trying to fix the fountain. Are you here about the fountain? Whoa there, kid. What are you thinking creeping up on me like that? I'm trying to contemplate here. <laughs> Sorry, what are you contemplating? Take a look for yourself. The old fountain's given up the ghost. Just packed in the fountain game. No splish, no splash, nothing. You're right there. Any idea what's wrong with it? Not a one, but we'll work it out. We only got the repair contract from the council today. The town normally turns off the well in winter anyway, but they want to fire it up again for the hibernation festival. Hibernation? Oh, I guess it makes sense. They're all animals. Yeah. We usually keep it running until then and then give it its winter break. But this year, we have to fix it first. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you then. You'd be better off using them to hold on and hope this old deer's getting up and running again. I mean, that's kind of what I said. Is it not? No, I don't know. Back to work today. Still here. There you are again. Closed off. Mysterious. I bet someone put an evil curse on you. The person who owned you before was plagued by misfortune. Their only escape was to leave you here. They fled the town, never to return. That's probably it. Right? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Weird. Who just throws away their bike? Or oh, that vending machine over there. There are so many better ways to get rid of your stuff. Back at university, I just left things in front of the door. When I turned around, they were gone. Simple. The vending machine's actually full too. And what's in it? Choco dogs, of course. The never decaying choco dogs. We don't even know how long that's been there for. Someone scribbled something here. The shadow child was here. Huh. Shadow child. Creepy. Okay, I'm ready to work. Let's help some patients. Wonder if it'll be the same ones or different this time. Hope I'm on time. I kind of talk to a few people, you know. Good morning. You should take off your hood. Enjoy this fine weather. Who knows how many more sunny days we'll have this year. Better take every little bit of vitamin D you can get. Alright, you ready? You ready for the magic change? Fabam! Beautiful. Hi, Ingrid. Here he is again. Two days in a row without injury. You're getting good at this, kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm really proud of myself. You should be. But don't overdo it. You don't want to end up being employee of the month. I'll be careful. How are things? You doing okay? Depends. You asking me or my back? Um, you're back. After all, I am the doctor. I thought so. Glad you asked. Nobody else does. They say there were times when I didn't have a bad back. I say that's a myth. If those times existed, I don't remember them. Disc went 12 years ago now. You had a slipped disc? Three. Three? Dang. Oh. Yeah. I thought things would be better if I cut back on the nursing job. Stick to the paper pushing. But let me tell you, kid. 
This rickety chair doesn't make it any better. Well, she's making me want to sit, have better posture in my chair right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ingrid. Don't be. Just watch your back, kid. You already look like you'll snap in half at the slightest breeze. Don't let it come to that. Once your back goes, it doesn't come back easily. So, what's the first rule? Don't mess it up in the first place. Don't mess it up in the first place. Exactly. You can have that one for free. How's the situation? Pretty busy. But you're on time today. Say, kid, you know your way around the hospital, yeah? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. We're all one big happy family here. I like the game nights best. Or when we all cook together. It's just great here. I can't imagine anything better. Anyway, it's never a bad thing to get to know people around you. Take a look around when you have the time. If there's an emergency, you'll need to know exactly what's where. You should drop by Dr. Theobald's office. You want to be in his good books. He is the chief physician after all. I'm sure he'll love you. Okay, good thought. I'll go see him. Do you know where his office is? No. Yes, of course. His office. I know that. First floor on the right. Thanks. See you later. Don't trip yourself up, kid. Thank you. Appreciate it. First floor on the right. Okay. Wow. Snacks here are completely different to the ones at the reception. Real brand name chocolate. Only the best wine gums. Even fresh fruit. I wonder if Dr. Theobald gets a special discount on snacks. If so, then I want to be a chief physician too. This is Mr. Hydrick's office. Hmm, no answer. Maybe he's not turned up yet. Or he already has his nose buried in some contracts. This is Chief Physician Dr. Theobald's office. We haven't had a chance to meet each other yet. Should I pop in and say hello? Knock. Hmm, maybe he's not in. One moment, please. Oh. Come in. All right, let's go. Uh, that's an artwork, I guess. Coffee machine. He has his own coffee machine? I'm jealous. Look at that. Got a Wi-Fi router. Got a, uh, a pirate ship in a bottle. Dude, this man's cool. Got a toy car up there. Very good morning to you. What can I do for you? Good morning, Dr. Theobald. My name is Finley. I'm a junior doctor. I joined not too long ago. Ah, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. How are you doing so far? Settled in nicely. It's all very exciting, but I'm getting along just fine, thanks. Glad to hear it. It's a shame we're only just meeting now. I always like to welcome new faces. I'm sure that you'll do great work here. So Finley, what brings you to good old St. Ursula's? Was it the views? Love, perhaps? You don't have to tell me. I just like to chat, you know? No, no, it's okay. I finished my degree in medicine and wanted to start work straight away. Learn as much as I can and become a good doctor. I studied in the big city. Spent all my life there too. I've never lived in a place like Porcupine before. And I thought a small hospital might allow me to take on more important tasks. Learn more, you know? That and I thought the place was nice. Fair enough. Oh yes, it's lovely here. And how are you finding life in Porcupine? Well, it's different than I expected, but I haven't had much time to explore yet, to be honest. Hopefully I'll get a chance soon. 
Sure, sure. But I won't lie to you, Finley. The day-to-day -day in the hospital isn't easy. The work can be very fulfilling, but also exhausting. Don't let it get you down. If you can do that, I can see you staying with us for a good long time. And if you need anything, please let me know. I do what I can to keep all of our staff happy. Which ward do you work on? I... Unfortunately, I no longer have the time to treat patients myself. I miss working on the wards terribly, but my current position simply does not allow it. So why the stethoscope then? Oh, this old thing? I just like to keep it with me. I find it comforting. It brings me luck and helps me feel like I'm still part of a team in some small way. Makes sense, makes sense. Was there anything else on your mind? Any questions, perhaps? Uh, Mr. Anders, do you have any tips for working with Dr. Krakowski? St. Ursula's is a really nice hospital. What do you think of the cafeteria? <laughs> uh, Mr. Anders, yes, I heard about that, of course. Don't worry. It wasn't your fault. You're not the first to have a runaway patient here. It happens to the best of us. Even Dr. Lindwood had to go looking for someone once. And that patient only had one leg. Whoa. Anyway. It all turned alright in the end. Dust yourself off and keep at it, okay? There you go, sir. Okay. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help do for you? Dr. Krakowski is one of the best doctors I know. Don't let her get you down. I know you've got what it takes. And Dr. Krakowski knows it too. She just doesn't show it very often. Yeah, maybe that's it. Is there anything else? Mm. Now I'm good. Thanks for your time. Good, good. Off you go then. I'm sure we both have a busy day ahead of us. Thank you for stopping by. We should do this again sometime. Have a nice day, Mr. Theobald. Dr. Theobald is Chief of Medicine at St. Ursula's. I spoke to him for the first time today. I liked the conversation. I hope to learn a lot from him. The shelf is full of folders and old medicine books. Wow, I wouldn't mind looking at those. I bet half of the contents are out of date by now. And a good mini golf trophy. Ahem. <laughs> I received that award last summer. It just so happens that you're standing in the office of the local mini golf district champion. And the books aren't that old either. Okay, if you say so. Right, let's, we gotta do our job, right? Level three. morning Finley. Hope you have a good shift today. Thanks. You too. My stomach's already growling. I was checking out the hospital for a bit this morning and forgot to have breakfast. You're funny. Well then, I really hope you have a quiet one today. See you later, Mia. I hunger. Good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated in your app. Downloading. Updated. All right, P31, 301. All right, we've got one new person. We've got our hands full, so let's not waste any time. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Please make sure she's looked after. But don't lose sight of other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results. Get to it. Ma'am, yes ma'am. Galeano, 
What are you doing here? Finley, my friend. I brought my mother here this morning. May I introduce her? This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing's happened to her. So I figured we'd get a specialist to check her out. That explains why his, uh, his bar was completely shut down. Alright, I'll take a look. You hear that, Ma? Finley hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid. And a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what happened this morning? Oh yeah, let's see. Me and Ma wanted to meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her legs gave way. She couldn't stop coughing. So we came straight here. Shame, I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with apple sauce. And a nice strong black coffee. Dang, you're gonna make me hungrier. Thanks, Galliano. I think that'll do for now. I'll take a look at Irma. Okay. Ma, I'm gonna head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. You should be worrying about that old pup of yours. I'll call you later. I'd like that. Good morning, Miss DeCalma. How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. Alright, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. So how are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That happens sometimes. It sounds like she almost might have like pneumonia or something. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son Guglielmo. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can already smell the fall. Can you smell it too? Yes, me too. The trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of beautiful air. I couldn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. I just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick, my legs gave way, and I fell down into the sidewalk. It made an awful racket. The windows shook in all the houses. I see. That reminds me of a great story, but maybe that could wait for another day. I am rather exhausted. Alright, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few more notes on the diagnosis. Of course. The sooner we get a diagnosis, the sooner you'll get access to your French toast. Just sit tight. We'll have you out of here in no time. Find the correct combination of symptoms. The blue mark indicates that you've got the right symbol, but the wrong position. A green mark indicates that you've got the right symbol in the correct position. It's okay. So, the simple place, simple in the card. One. Hmm, that's strange. What is it? What did you find? Nothing yet. I'll pass on the evaluation. If we keep you under observation, we'll find out what's wrong with you soon enough. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Yes, yes. Better safe than sorry, right? 
That's right. You're a nice young man. I'm glad you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to get you well again as soon as possible. I'll see you again later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. Will do. Thank you. Alright, room 301. Finley. You got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I know she's in good hands with you. That's all I can ask for. We'll get Irma back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll head out then. I gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally, but I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. Well, I guess we better catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by any time. I will. 301. More medication. Miss Martin, how are you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. I'm the same when I can't sleep. I'll spend the whole night turning problems over in my head. Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? Now that you mention it. It is feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustments to your dosage. Okay. We need some more orange. Less green. Try to get around four pills. Perfect. So you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get that stomach ulcer under control. But to keep it away, keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. That's easier said than done. I know. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed to hear. I'll, I've known it for a long time, but now I really do need to look after myself more. But how? This pill you're about to take will send you into a sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and a fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, Doctor. Right, final. Final lady. Room 303. How's the asthma? How are you today? Pretty chill, Doc. Just bored to death. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get that. The nights can be long when you're in the hospital. I hear that, the truth. How's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. I'll just give you a quick check over then, okay? Sure, you need me to do anything. Just what you're doing right now is plenty. Alright, let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just going to listen to my lungs, right? Or are you going to cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, just a turn off phrase. I'll only be listening to your lungs. Don't worry. Phew. Got freaked out. Buttons. It's getting a little faster each day. A little trickier to do the combos. The wombo combos. Hmm. What is it, Duck? Your lungs haven't quite fully recovered yet. 
Is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. But believe me, it's better if we keep you just one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can I tell you something? Sure. What is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot too. It's a good thing that you told me that, Larissa. You know you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. We've got tea and coffee too. Ooh, coffee. That stuff's so bitter. But I'll take a look later. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day. We can do it. Yeah. It's the final countdown to the new new. I'm done, Dr. Krakowski. I can see that. Alright then, let's see what you've got for me. Oof. See? Oof. There's definitely room for improvement here. I can see that you're not completely talentless, but you've clearly lacked discipline. Do you need anything else? No, thank you, but... The new patient. What about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Mrs. DeCalma is very popular in Porcupine. I've known her for a long time, too. Take good care of her, Finley. You'll be in charge of her treatment. But don't neglect the others just because you think Mrs. DeCalma's nice. Personal considerations should never get in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate a person. Always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Mrs. De Kilmar as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. Hmm. Hey, Mia. Ugh. Are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No, now that you mention it, have you even been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. I'd say it is. Let's do it. I hadn't realized how hungry I was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Yes. Correct dancer. Hurry up. My stomach's practically roaring with hunger. Is that even medically possible? They must hate you at the library. Finley. Alright, alright. To the cafeteria. This me. Hi, you two. Break? Yeah, we're just heading to the cafeteria. Is that place still standing? I haven't been there in years. I used to love it there. Not even for the food. I just liked the atmosphere, you know? Why don't you go anymore? I don't know. Guess I just kind of stopped at some point. I usually eat here at my desk. Or in my little break room. Not many places to live up here. Maybe you should check out the cafeteria again. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe to the right. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey. 
I hear uh, silverware. Hmm, what should I get? Hey, Lisa, it's me! Malama? It's Alpaca Lisa! <laughs> if, you, if you're watching this and you hear me saying this, you have to comment it down below. <laughs> Mia, hey, are you on a break? Who's this you've brought with you? Have we met? I don't think so, I'm Finley. Nice to meet you. I'm guessing you're on internal medicine too. I don't think I could do what you do. But if you want me to cut something out for you, just say the word. I can't decide what to eat. Don't see anything you like the look of. Oh, quite the opposite. All the dishes sound delicious. Really? Yes. Serge is an amazing cook. With knife skills like that, he'd fit right in in the surgery. I'd like to see that. Go on ahead. I need a moment to decide. Alright, thanks. What can I get you, kid? Hmm, what have you got? Art. The finest culinary art in town. Just choose your artwork and prepare to be taken out in a wild journey. Now, I don't want to presume your personal taste, but I can highly recommend the pineapple wrap. Sweet yellow fruit combined with a crunchy lamb, lettuce, and pickled artichoke heart. A gourmet delight. So, go on, what'll it be? What do you like, Mia? Hmm, I don't care. You pick something, I'll eat just about anything right now. Okay, I would like pineapple wrap, the pasta cum laude, the sesame sorbet, the tomato tart, ooh, ravioli, ravioli with a mush lonka sauce, the salt muesli, ravioli, where all other that, sorry, my dishes are just too popular, can I get you something else, pineapple wrap, ah, the pineapple, he's probably out of everything except that, <laughs> the pineapple wrap, I see you're a doctor of good taste, bon appetit, to the both of you, enjoy. How is it? The wrap? Uh, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. I'll be honest, I can't stand pineapples, but I didn't want to complain. I was just so hungry I didn't care. But I actually meant work. How's it going for you? We both started here a few weeks ago, and I just realized that I haven't even talked about our experiences yet. Sometimes that helps. To reflect on yourself, I mean. The way her snoot, her snoot just moves is so adorable. That's what my parents always say. True, somehow we haven't had a chance yet. Well, I think I like St. Ursula's. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the staff are really nice. That's true. But Dr. Krakowski can be pretty nasty. Yeah, she's been eating me alive too. But I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wished I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in at the last minute and you're already here and ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. What if she lives in the caravan? <laughs> Is everything okay? You don't have to eat the wrap if you don't like it. Well, I... Bon appetit, my dear colleagues. You too. How do you like Serge's cuisine? Pretty good so far. Yeah, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. When the staff are happy, I'm happy too. I'm sorry I missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day. It didn't seem like the right time. So I was hoping I could make it up to you now. My name is Roman Heydrich. I'm the executive director of St. Ursula's Hospital. I try to keep things running as smoothly as I can. And to fulfill the wishes of our dear sh chef physician, Dr. Theobald, and of the staff, of course. My top priority is the welfare of our patients. That's how it's always been and how it always will be. The two of you are new here. So I wanted to impart that information to you personally, especially since some of you have had a difficult start here. I don't blame you for that incident with Mr. Ent 
Andis. Your new and mistakes happen, and I see no ill intent in your actions. You only wanted what was best for the patient, so much that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we've had to make certain accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country, where he will be hopefully where he will hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. Anyway, enough of such matters. Let us look at the future and continue to make St. Ursula's Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Thanks. All right, time for me to go. Don't you want to eat anything? No, thank you. I sated my appetite some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meals and your work. Okay. That's suspicious. That was interesting. You can say that again. Are you done? I definitely am now. Well, let's get back to the ward then. Mr. Hydrix, right. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Okay, let's go. Weird. I made friends with a roommate in the ward. Makes staying here so much more bearable. <laughs> How about um, cheer? Because it's a bear. I get it. Ah. It's what I like to see. Two happy full faces. Tell me, what did you make of my... Of your culinary journey. Try to put it into words. I'm feeling a little sick. It wasn't really my thing. It was yummy, delicious. Mmm. Ah, excellent. I love sharing my world with those around me. Enjoy, enjoy it. He didn't even let me answer his question. Oh my goodness. The back door. You went to the cafeteria and you can still walk? What did you have? We had the pineapple wrap. It was delicious. Ouch. Let me know if your t skin turns blue. Bro, what? I don't know why, but this whole place smells of pineapple wraps. Ew. Ew, indeed. Right, let's get back to work. Man! Are you serious? You piece of trash. Hello? Who's that? Where is it coming from? The elevator maybe? Oh, we should check. I think the voice is coming from here. Hello? Is there someone in there? Nah, the hospital just installed one of them new talking elevators. Wah! Damn door's stuck. Why does this keep happening to me? We need to help him. Yeah, well, what can we do? We should get the janitor. He can open the door, right? Gregor the old fart? He's the reason I'm stuck in here in the first place. If he touches the elevator, I'll probably blow up. I'm gonna wring his neck! Do you want to get out of there or not? Yeah, I guess. I've just come from surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old bungler skulking around. Alright. Finley, you go to the surgery and find Gregor. I'll go back to the ward and stay on call in case anyone needs anything. Good plan. Thanks. Level 2. Okay, I get it. Greg is our only hope, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. But I guess I can't get the door open with gauze bandages and IV fluids. I'm starving. Please don't eat any medical supplies. Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. You mean you've tried it? No. Look, night shifts can get pretty long, okay? Just hang in there. I'm gonna go look for Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. Alright, I'll fetch him and be right back, okay? Hurry up. The walls are closing in on me. Level two. Hello, Gregor? 
There you are. What's up with that blasted light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs old Gregor's help. Won't even give me the time of day or when everything's running smoothly, but one flickering light or squeaky door and it's Gregor this. Help that. Mr. Glendower, the elevator is stuck. Take it easy, kid. Can't you see how I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator. Give me a hand here, kid. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hall. Head over there and switch the breaker on when I gave you the signal, okay? But one thing at a time. After that, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the janitor, ain't I? Okay. What brings you to the surgery? I am looking for Gregor the janitor. Oh, Glenny, I like him. And as it happens, he is here. I think he's fiddling with some light or another. What do you need him for? He doesn't like it when people distract him. Someone's stuck in the elevator, the doors won't open. Oh my goodness! This hospital really does have a life of its own. Well then, don't let me take up any more of your time. Good luck, Finley. At this end. Looking for Gregor? Check upstairs. But I just saw him. Okay, this is probably the only breaker panel here. Here goes nothing. Okay, ready? Yes. Alright. Wait a minute. Put this in here. Fiddle around here. That should do it. Okay, now. Ah! Oh no, everything okay? I'll just take a quick look. Dead. Electrocuted. Mr. Glendower, are you alright? <coughs> yeah, I'll live. Take more than a little electric shock to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment all the same. Baloney! You want to make an omelette? You gotta break a few eggs. Besides, look, the lights are working again. I've still got it. Will you help me now? Help? Oh, your elevator thing. Give me a moment. I just need a quick break and then I'll take a look. Finally! It looks like she's about to like... Break out in some like rock song and just headbang in that position. I was about to sign a lease on this thing. Oh, you again. Should have known. Carl, it's you. I've been wondering where you were all day. I knew that voice sounded familiar. Ah, what? I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite colleague? I'll try to burn it into my brain for future use. Anyway, I'm glad you're out of the elevator now. Oh yeah, right. Freedom! Oh my gosh, the bounce! <laughs> the hair bounce, yeah! Ah, that sweet, sweet scent. I thought I was going to die in there. Thank you, Finley. You really are a good buddy. I owe you one. Where I got you, old bungler. It's your fault I got stuck in there. And now it's my fault you're out again. You're welcome. I'm leaving now. Grr. One of these days. Are you alright? What? Oh, right. Yeah, we're all good. I'm just short on time. I already had loads to do today. Could have done without the involuntary lunch break. It stares only for me from now on. Should help me keep fit at least. You could clone me. Or take a second job as a nurse. Or buy a new elevator. Oh, good options. Right? Alright, enough chit chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack somewhere before my next stop. And you need to get back up to the ward. You know Krokowski by now. The steam's probably coming out of areas already. True. Thanks again for the help, buddy. If you're up for it later, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Think about it. Laters. But... What about the boxes? I guess he'll sort it out. I really should get back up to the ward now.
Carl is a nurse on my ward. He approached me on the first day after talking directly to Dr. Krakowski. He has been at St. Ursula's for a long time and knows his stuff very well. I'm very happy to be able to work with him. He's well known and loved by most people in Porcupine. He took me to Gilbert's. There I met some new people from Porcupine. Mia and I heard a voice in the elevator after lunch today. It was Carl. I've been wondering where he is. He invited me to Gilbert's for a beer tonight. As a thank you. Maybe I'll stop by after work. Sergi's the cafeteria's head chef, but neither his manners nor his appearance match his job description very well. I wonder how he ended up here. Dr. Portobello, Lisa, I mean, seems really nice. I feel a bit sorry for her that she's had to work so closely with Dr. Linwood. That can't be easy, but she seems to like it well enough. Mia and Lisa get along well. Maybe they'll end up becoming friends. I'd like that very much. Adorable. Level three. Here I am. Did everything go okay? Yeah, how about you? It took you quite a while. It was in the elevator. Call. Ha, <laughs> typical. Have you seen Dr. Kokrowski? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat there when evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break though, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I'll let her know I'm clocking off and I can finally relax for the evening. You do that. I'm going to go do some sports. You can join me if you want. It'll be fun. That's not a bad idea. I'll think about it. Mia started as an intern the same day as I did. It's her first job too, but I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. Mia invited me to work out after work today. It's a pretty good idea. I could just use the distraction. She's on the school sports ground. Options. I could get a drink. I could go work out. Few options there. There we go. It's a little messy in here. Finley, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about? Or two even? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot on your mind whenever you're here. Otherwise, you would presumably be doing your job, like everyone else here does. Your average performance isn't enough to make up for your constant absences. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy pointing these things out. I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was... I know. And I also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure we're clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. You don't want me helping... You want us to work as a team, but you don't want me to help anyone else. Make it make sense. Just make it make sense. Why can I go in here? Did your day go okay? Yeah, I'm about to head out. Can I get you anything else? No, no, I'm all good. I'll try to read a little longer, but it'll make an early night for me tonight. All right then, see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Aren't I on night shift tomorrow? I don't know. So, any plans for after work? Yeah, I'm going out again. It's your first night shift tomorrow, right? Yeah, finally a chance to sleep in a bit. You better add. Scary things happen here at night sometimes. Demons, monsters, that kind of thing. The spirits of the deceased get up to all sorts of mischief here, you know? You're kidding, right? Nah, it's all true. Some people have gone insane on their first night shift. Or even disappeared completely. I mean, look at you. You've only had one late night shift and you didn't even come out of that unharmed. But that was just a stupid accident. It could have happened any time of day. Ah, sure it could have. Or could it? 
I'll let you answer that one. I'm leaving now. Yes, flee! Flee! <laughs> okay. Back to our normal clothes. Ay, 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 ay. There you are. How's it looking? Are you going to come to the sports court with me? I want to get some exercise tonight. Sure. All right. Come on then. Race you to the school sports court. If you insist. Great. On your marks. Get set. Oh no. Is that Dr. Krakowski? She looks angry. What? Go. Hey, cheetah. Cheetah, cheetah, underpants, cheetah. Come back here. Hey. Che cheating rat. <laughs> How dare you. I'll beat you. I'll beat you at the game instead then. Where are you at? Ooh, reflection. This way? A little creepy. Not gonna lie. Hello? Hello? This way? This is a long way. Am I gonna be murdered here? No, I get murdered in the hospital. Not out of the hall. Right? 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 Uh -huh. Alright, we're at the clock. Be good. Totally fine. Yo, basketball. Look at he's even got a sweatband. Wow, what's happening here? Hmm. What do you think? After a long day, I need to work it off of work off a bit of energy. The university clinic. Where I used to work had its own sports field. I discovered this hidden gem last week. I hereby present you. Nice. So you want me to join in? That's the plan. Today we're playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? I was always good at school. I got teased a lot for being one of the youngest, but I always got the basket. All right, then. Looks like I chose the right guy to play against. Let's see who wins. Ready? Just what I wanted to hear. Here we go. Eat to charge your throw. Release. Okay. Oh, almost. Oh, I have to let it go of it uh, at the start. That. He hit my ball. Rude. The cheating. Bad. Bad shot. Again. Did I get it? I have to like time it with theirs. With Mia's, otherwise it will uh, knock mine. I'm winning. Come on. Come on. Don't you dare. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. One by two points. Oh, yeah. Got him. Well, there's more people here. Oof. You really showed me. I didn't know you were so good. Oh, I think you just caught me on a good day. 
The last time I played basketball was at school. When I start a team in Porcupine, you have to join me. <laughs> okay. So Finley, how do you like it here? Not just working, but like in general. Porcupine. It's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even unpacked all my boxes yet. And then I was out of action for a while. It feels a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely? Really? But you're already fitting in so well. How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along with everyone here. And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. I feel a little lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder somehow. I had a few friends at school, even at university. I struggled meeting people. And in Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny, I feel the same way as you actually. Really? That's a surprise. I haven't had much free time so far. And when I do, I never have the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone, but I've made up my mind not to get bogged down in work. I want to make sure I always have save time and energy for trying out new things, meeting new people, maybe even making some new friends. I'm sure we'll both find friends here. And whatever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. I will, but that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving. I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes all right. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. See ya. Bye, Mia. Betty bye time. Can't wait to sleep in, in tomorrow. Right? Sleeping's so good.